Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to go over how to add and edit text layovers on your Instagram Reels. So, similar process as starting a Reel. Go into Instagram. Okay, you're going to land on the home page and click on the plus button up at the top. And then you're going to select what type of post do you want to post. We're going to go with a Reel. Okay, we're just going to grab a our video from our phone. So this isn't recording one just yet. We'll do that on another video. Uh, so let's select a video. I'm going to just select a short one. That might be a little too short. There, we'll use this one right here that we've used before. You first, you need to add the video to your reel. Okay. And then click on preview. It's in the preview screen that now you can add text. So to add text up at the top right hand corner, it's a little hard to see, you'll see a capitalized A and a lowercase A. You're going to tap on that and here you're going to put in your text, your text. Okay, simple. Now, once the text is there, you can tap on it again after you've hit done if you want to do any edits, like maybe you want to change the color, which the color is the color wheel up at the top. You tap on that and you can change the color of your text. Or maybe you don't really want to have a little background piece to it. Um, so to do that, there's the A up at the top that have the two stars. You tap that and you can change. Maybe you want the, the, the background text to be a little bit darker. Maybe you don't want any at all. Um, that's up to you. Okay, so then from there, if you need to make your text bigger, you put two fingers on it, okay? And you just pinch your fingers back and forth and that'll make it the size you want it to be and then when you want to move it you press and hold your text and you can move it around to wherever you want it to be now one thing you'll see is at the bottom left hand corner it'll say your text okay now it'll put actually whatever text you type is what you'll see at the bottom because i typed your text that's what it's showing me you can tap on that and then you're going to get this scrubber bar at the bottom and here you can change where you want that text to come in and where you want it to go out. Okay, so for example, maybe I want this piece to come in here and then done. So my, that text won't come in till a couple seconds of my video. And then maybe I want to put in a second piece of text. So I hit that A, capital A, lowercase A again and type in my next text. And this time I want it to have a background and this time I'm going to change the color to purple and I want the other background to be a little darker. Okay, and then I'm going to make it the size I want to make it, put it where I want to put it. And then you'll see down at the bottom right next to your text, you'll see my next text. So you tap on that one and now it'll show you as you scrub through. Okay, so my first piece of text shows up there. And then it ends and then maybe I want my next piece of text to show up there. Scrub it down just a little bit, depending on how long you want that text to stay on the screen. Hit done. All right, so now you've got two pieces of text and they're going to come in at different times. Now, let's say let's do one more. Okay, so this is my last text. You can put as much in here as you want, by the way, it's entirely up to you. I'm just going to leave this one to be that color. Okay, click done and then uh, it's not doing it. There we go. I want to make it bigger, bring it back down here. And then you'll see at the bottom now I've got on the right hand side of all my text pieces, there's my last text. So I'm going to tap on that. And then this one, I want it to come right at the end for the last two seconds of that video. Okay. And then we click done. And that's it. Now you've added text, you've added multiple pieces of text, you've given them each different durations. If you go next, add your cool caption. Okay, caption. And then again, you can add your hashtags. So again, I like to put a little line of uh, periods down. So it gives me a little bit of space. And then I put in my hashtag, hashtag, my hashtag. And then select the one you want. Again, I like to do three to five when I'm doing mine or even three to seven is fantastic. You can do up to 30, although it's not always necessary. The main thing with hashtags is keep them relevant to the content. And I just realized I didn't. So there you go. Add your cool caption. I have my little break with all the different periods or stops so that it gives a break in my text. 
and then we go OK, and then we go Share. OK, wait for it to post. And now you can see what it will look like. Now, the audio may not come through, and that's OK. <laughs> Sometimes that just happens. There you go. So now you can see. You well done. The text showing up. Don't the make a sound. That I've wanted it One to show up. the shadow. Be quiet. That's how you add text softly. overlays. Well done. Your, your Instagram Reels. So that, again, we're just covering one topic when we do this. Um, because one topic is easier. So if that's the one thing that you're wondering how to do, that is how you do it. If you have any questions, please place them below. And I will continue to just cover one topic at a time. And uh, I'm really excited to hear about how your reels are going. So why would you want to add text before we jump into before I say goodbye? So adding text is a great way to add some extra context to your reels. It's a great way to give better descriptions. Um, and to make it a little bit more engaging for people who maybe are only listening or not listening, they're only watching without the audio on, which a lot of people will do. So adding text is a great way to just give that context so people don't always have to have the audio on. All right. So until next time, keep going with your reels and I'll be back with another short tutorial.